a controversial rhino hunt, the aftermath of the Virginia chemical spill, and a giant squid on a boat? That's all in this week's two-minute roundup of environmental news from around the globe. Environmental activist Aaron Brockovich believes that criminal charges should be laid against the company responsible for the chemical spill into the Elk River in West Virginia last week. An official state of emergency was declared and the National Guard brought in as residents were banned from using tap water altogether, causing businesses and schools to shut down for days. Brockovich and her team are in Charleston to investigate the situation. Huge conservation efforts are underway to save the Pickersgill's reed frog, a critically endangered species endemic to South Africa. These little guys are victims of habitat loss, with only a few tiny pockets of their wetland habitat remaining. A new species of lobster has been named after Nelson Mandela. The lobster is found in deep waters off the South African coast and was discovered by researchers from the Natural History Museum in London. Japanese fishermen got more than they bargained for when instead of hauling up a load of yellowtail, they netted a giant squid. The enormous creature weighed in at 360 pounds. It unfortunately died shortly after and has since been shipped to a research facility. Conservation group Wild Aid has launched a new video campaign to stop the shark fin trade. Starring action film star Maggie Q, the video shows her on a fancy date. All seems to be going quite well until she has brought shark fin soup. A controversial decision to auction off a permit to hunt an endangered black rhino in Namibia is dividing the conservation world. The Dallas Safari Club auction was won by Corey Knowlton, who has paid $350,000 for the privilege of shooting the rhino, an amount that will reportedly be going towards black rhino conservation. Those for the hunt are arguing that the money will go a long way towards species conservation. The other side believes that no sport hunting of an endangered species should ever be allowed. You can make up your own mind about this, and we'd love for you to share your thoughts with us on Facebook and Twitter, or visit our website for more information.